We are a great crowd, Walker. We just felt the electricity walking out here to ringside, even bigger than it was last year. We're looking, hopefully, maybe north of 30,000 as we get a good look at Tiger Hitari. Let's go. What the heck? Yeah, bell sounding. We're officially underway, as you mentioned before. The final four in the New Japan Rambo will be taken to New Year Dash. It's the only matchup that we know is to come on that event tomorrow, Chris. I mean, I'm just worried about Tiger Otori. I think it behooves you to throw somebody over the top rope because I'm not sure that Tiger Otori can count to three. Oh, well, in a timely fashion, at least. That'd be part of the strategy. It's going to be great Okan taking the waist lock here. I got to tell you, I think a lot of people are counting out Chase Owens coming into this matchup. We haven't seen Chase Owens in quite a minute now. Well, that's true, but I think you'd be foolish to count out Chase Owens. Extremely successful in these environments. And of course, you know, not just did he make the final four in 2021 and 2022, but also in 21 when he had Wrestle Grand Slam here in the Tokyo Dome, he won the New Japan Rambo. Right then, already. This is gonna be. Oh. Well, I think this is bad news for Great Okan Walker. Yeah, it definitely may be. Two members of Bullet Club will be involved in this matchup. We're looking right now in front of us at a potential elimination as Gabe Kidd. Oh, Great Okan to ringside. He's going to throw out Chase right now. He knows it before Gabe Kidd gets in there. Yeah, and that's going to be smart strategy from Okan if he can manage to do so. But if is the big statement here, in comes Gabe Kidd. Yeah, what? I'm not in. Yeah, Game Kid oh. saying he's the man to Great Okan wants to remind that to yeah. the former man, Brain Buster, I'm British heavyweight yeah. champion Great Okan. Well, here's the thing, Connors and Maloney have not defended the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship since they suffered their first loss as a tag team that was back in Super Junior Tag League. Obviously, the champions you'd imagine were coming in shaken or not shaking, so to speak, but now they're shaking with the sight of what we have in front of us. What is this, Chris? Oh, Swamp. Yeah, I mean, I think certainly they needed. Oh my. Oh my God. No. Oh. Oh. And you see, oh. those are deep blood red eyes of the Aswang. Oh, and the Whoa. miss. And it's already starting off here. <laughs> Almost. Mutaleska. Oh. Bell is sounded one fall, 60 minutes on the clock for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. It's Francesco Akira and TJP, if that's what you can call this thing in the ring right now, that have not defeated. Oh, already, oh, already, already Go for it. Leaning tower. Could be seeing it. Leaning tower. Don't waste it any time. Not at all. Maloney's not going to waste any time heading to the outside. In comes Clark Connors. This one's going to move 1,000 miles a minute if you uh, know anything about the junior heavyweight division. Walker, Walker I think Joe Maloney might have busted his mouth up on that leaning tower. Oh. He's going to be stunned for a bit. Clark Connors is in danger here. He's taking out that two by two. Will we see Nini -Nee connect here live? No. Connors out of it just in the nick of time. Gentlemen, I have Oh, gosh. What a rough landing no. there. Yeah, we saw how rough that landing could be last year. Oh. And there was Leo Rush taking that hit. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Clock, clock, let's get him. And yeah, I'm seeing let's it right now, the blood on the come mouth on, of Joel Maloney. What's oh. family? Passing Zach Sabre Jr., of course, representing Brit Rest in many a facet, Chris Charlton, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling as NJPW World Television Champion. We talk about these technicalities that he holds, that he faces. He's faced off against Tanahashi a time or two in the past as well, Chris. Yeah, and it was a very ground-based game the last time Zack Sabre Jr. wrestled Tanahashi during the G1, now keeping it. Go even in a stand up, and you see. Oh, Zach was looking to bait him, but oh. the ace didn't fall for it. It's not going to happen. Hiroshi Tanahashi has to beat the clock here. Oh, could have been it. Zach oh. Driver and down. Twist and shout. And repeated twist and shouts at that. Knows he's going to have to do a lot of damage to the back of that neck of Zack Sabre Jr. off the ropes. He ain't and playing for the clock, Walker. Blade. He ain't playing for the 15. Cover here. Could we 
UCC. Oh, awfully close. He's going up already. already. Wasting no time. Uh, well, you have to admire it. Hiroshi Tanahashi taking things to the top rope. Sabre Jr. back to his feet. Oh, oh cross body brought down hard. Oh, you don't think already? He could be seeing it. No, 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 not now. To the skies will it be. President Ace yeah. High flying! Oh! Oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Nelson, get a bridge oh. back! Oh. Get the bridge the cover, the cover! Oh. No, no, no! It's the second match in a moment at the edge of my seat, guys. Yeah, two very quick moments here for Zack Sabre Jr. and Hiroshi Tanahashi, and we talk about this clock Shut element. Up. Didn't expect Shut to see Tanahashi up. coming out of the gate so quickly, though, Rocky. I think it was a smart game plan, but now he's in a lot. Yeah, whatever he does, Rimura cannot be in a position to eat that curb stomp, which will use, it will set up oh. the Gene Blaster, that spear. Yato. At the same time, Walker, Suji can't afford to get too confident against you, Yuri You know, and I think it's that smile oh. that we referenced earlier on that is confidence in Carnage. Shoulder tackle, take down cover here. Look at this, two counts. That's but we've seen Urmur make his opponent's pay rock for overconfidence. Caught Suji in a flash pin at the end of the year. His last match on NJPW Strong caught Chris Daniels in a similar fashion, mm -hmm. ended his strong career with a win. Well, that's, that's when you go back to talk about the fundamentals and how important they are. Oh, brother. I mean, Uramur is at the top of the list, uh, you know, above anyone on the roster when it comes to that. You're talking about a guy who's fine tuned the fundamentals and worked on it through all of his excursions. So that could be the difference maker. Difference maker might have been that square boot across the back of the head. Talk about confidence earlier on, Chris. We're seeing it out of Yodosuji in spades right now. You can't exactly blame the man for feeling the way he does. Suji calling down the room and saying, is this what you have? We're in the Tokyo Dome. Listen, if anyone in any environment is going to be able to push Yuya Uemura to his best, it's going to be Suji, and it's going to be the Tokyo Dome. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Drag and to the drop kick. Picture perfect. And I know Taichi, that's why you know, Taichi brought Uemura into just five guys. You know, talking about the, that perfection of those fundamentals, the fact that he can have the crowd come up and on their feet just with an arm drag, just with a drop. Oh. When it comes to House of Torture. Oh, it's already going off. And here we it's go never now. a fair fight. Umino has been wanting to get his hands oh. on Narita. Narita's been running scared ever since. Oh. It's Kiyomiya and Evil inside this ring. Shoto Umino and Ren Narita on the outside. And Chris, you know all about the issues that these two men have had, including the matchup that recently took place at a pro wrestling Noah event earlier on. Oh, oh well, yeah. This is, oh, oh. Kill me already. Come on. This is supposed to be a special tag team match. And Dick Togo has joined the Japanese commentary. It's all a distraction. Who put Dick on the mic? Oh, oh, that might be the biggest one yet. The fact of the matter is, Walker, that every single time House of Torture have been up against Pro Wrestling Noah. And I know it hurts to say STF from Rumino, figure four. Muto styled from Kaito Kiyomiya, Chono style from Rumino. That's the bell. Is that it? No, no, no. Is that it? No. Yoshinobu Kanemaru. I forgot about him. Uh, I was hoping on a special day like this, Wrestle Kingdom 18, we could go without the antics. But then I remembered this matchup oh, was on the on. card. I mean, come on. Steady on. The referee has been knocked out. And now House of Torture are making the Tokyo Dome their house. You know, we've been talking throughout the duration, building up to this matchup that what people need to do, what they need to realize with House of Torture is you have to have buddies. You have to have people surrounding the ring. We were hoping Kiyomiya and Umino might come in with a little bit of backup, but that's not the case here. Yeah, it took a lot. 
Takagi's barely moved here. You see him clutching at the neck, which is going to serve as a target if Tama Tonga needs to go further in this matchup. Set it yourself, Chris. It's been a bad night for champions. Oh, I think Tama. A lot of history with Prince Devitt trying to sink up Bloody Sunday. Oh! Big right hand. Doggy thinking pumping bomber not happening though. No. Bloody Sunday! Hook of the leg! Whoa! Oh, kick out on one! Doggy up at one! This is the Tokyo Dome, boys! This is never a boy championship! Oh. Oh. Smashing Lariat from Tama Tonga! Tama Tonga cannot take too much more time. He has to put Shingo Takagi down and keep him there for three. Double underhook here, Chris. What's that DSD? It's the move that won in the championship. The beat Kazuchika Kata. Oh, roll through the Jack Knight, cover here, cover Jack Knight. No, 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 no. We've seen the World TV title change hands in similar fashion already. Oh. The flash pin is not the never way. This is... Oh, my goodness! Hurricane Rana and the forearm shot to boot. Tama Tonga is rolling. Tama Tonga is cooking with fire. Tama Sison Shingo up. Here we go! Gunstone! Gunstone! Shingo took it on the line as well. Everyone has something to lose. And we could see it fall to the godsend. Yeah, Kaleo wants that double choke slam badly. Couldn't get it a second time. Out it goes. And yeah, Kaleo sent out hard. Nemeth and Ryan Nemeth continue to watch at ringside as Yoshihashi and Hiroki Goto. This is how they want it. Neraku with San LP. No! Second time in this matchup, El Fantasmo using a head scissors to send Goto into Yoshihashi. And tag made once again, hit the lay of the legal man. We have seen a lot of that throughout this matchup, Chris. Tag team partners colliding with each other inside the ring. And that's rare for Goto and Yoshihashi, usually so on point. Maybe that spells disaster for them here tonight at Wrestle Kingdom 18. Oh, can't stop the track. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, Tope takes out. Oh, this will set it up, Walker. Oh. Take away on Goto all alone. Roshi, six foot nine over the knee. Oh, and the roll up, the roll up cover. No. Goto having to go deep, deep in the pocket there. With his flash pins. But this will decide it. Maybe not Shoto, but GTR would. Look out. Oh, a hard thing to do, hard thing to set out for. Oh, can't lift up the big man. Here you go. There it is. Sudden death connects on the money. And watch ELP. Has to be a win in the Tokyo Dome. And he almost says, Walker, that this is the last time he will ever wrestle El Desperado anywhere other than the main event. Look out! Oh! He is the biggest threat to the throne of Hiromu Takahashi. And, and to reiterate, it's a throne that El Desperado never wanted. However, he has recently claimed to have an envy, have a jealousy for the, the starlight, the spotlight, the role that Hiromu Takahashi has played in the junior heavyweight division over the course of the past years. And cover here, it's going to only be a one count. El Desperado, hot start to this matchup, gentlemen. Yeah, both of these men have broadened 
the Spectre, the junior heavyweight division, Hiromu Takahashi, both in Corcoran Hall and Rock in Philadelphia, the All-Star Junior Festival. El Desperado, not just in the Cerulean Blue, but in death matches all the way around the world. They want to further this junior heavyweight division. There's three guys to me in the history of New Japan Pro Wrestling that represent uh, the junior division. There's Satoru Sayama, the original Tiger Mask. There's Jushin Thunder Liger, and there's Hiromu Takahashi. Humble as ever, Rock. Good on you. Once in a while. It's gonna be El Desperado who comes in with the Lariat into the corner. Yeah. And Fireman's carry, good positioning. Bad spot for Hiromu. And Walker, we cannot, uh, well, look out as we'll see whether El Desperado can find his target here. Jun Kasai like splash incoming. Oh, whoa. Oh. Misses. This one already off the races from the get go before the opening bell, but the bell is now sounded with the 60. The difference is Will Osprey aiding him in his efforts against David Finner. We are two of the most dangerous men in the world. Uh oh. Oh! oh. oh. I wouldn't have recommended counting David Finley out walking into this matchup, but by the looks of things right now, gentlemen, it wouldn't well, shock me. Yeah, I think they said uh -oh. maybe we'll call it a minute early. We're four minutes deep, and they think, well, Finley's out of it. Let's go. Time to go to work. These two men believed it was all them, that it should have been a singles competition, that David Finley was in the way. Kick Osprey, oh. there it is, back suplex, Moxley, oh. immediately back up, meets with one of his own. Backhand spring, oh. caught, oh. German oh. suplex, high angle, and high impact once more from John Moxley. Okay. You talk about the Never Openweight Championship being the BMF title. Looks like Moxley and Osprey are trying to establish such for the Global Championship. John Moxley won the IWGP United States Championship on his debut here in New Japan Pro Wrestling in 2019. Had a record five defenses with it. And some of that time as an absentee champion because of the COVID pandemic. An absentee champion of the global title, Moxley will not be, nor will Will Ospreay. He never had plans of being an absentee champion. Keep uh -oh. in mind, Chris. Uh oh, cheeky Nando's oh, yeah. on its way. Yeah. Straight delivery from Will Ospreay, but you see the clutch of the back from Ospreay as well. Effective. Danielson, he's in it for the long haul. Anyway, he wanted to milk every single bit of pain out of Castillo Carter because the goal. Again, Walker, the goal is not submission. Billy Robinson said if he doesn't tap in six seconds, it's just something else. The goal oh, isn't submission. Oh, the goal. It's punishment. Exactly. Oh, it's oh, punishment. To the eye. The oh. eye. An arm for an arm. An eye for an eye. Oh, man. Danielson came into this matchup thinking punishment and these stops. Oh, right back into the bell lock and now. Straight arm break. Oh, Kata taking it to the ground game again. Rainmaker! The pain shooting through the arm. The agony. And the face of Kachiko Akata. There will be no cover. Akata said, break my arm. If you think you can, then try, because I'll still land the Rainmaker, and he did walk up at outwalk cost. That cost might be everything for Kazushko Okada. And Brian Danielson is trying to will himself back to a standing position. Someone's got to have an advantage here. I mean, look at this. Danielson was the one hit with the Rainmaker, and Okada, both men back to their feet at the same time. Right back to the arm, the strategy of the American Dragon. Notice Okada utilizing a lot more of the leg-based offense. I mean, it's all he could do, but he doesn't have, all the pain is suffered, he doesn't have enough pop on them. Oh my goodness. 
Every shot connects with that eye. Listen to this roar from the fans. As Naito said, after I take away that championship, you will be left with nothing. There is no January the 4th, 2025 for the loser of this match. All the chips are all in. There is no one more time. Todo or nada, all or nothing for Naito and Sonata. Both men looking to make their way back to their feet. Naito has done so, hung up in the corner. Sonata, the world champion, manages to do the same. It's back to action. Oh! Open half palm strike step up into Kiri. There it is. Naito rolling elbow for Sonata. Wow, that's so. Tornado D. Oh, the damage continuing to be done to the neck. Spinal compression in the future for Sonata. And it will be at the hands of a man who is looking to achieve his destiny. It is a clear night, and the stars are out over the Tokyo Dome. And they are in the eyes right now of Tetsuya Naito if he can reach out and grab him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Perfect oh, pitch. This could be it. Oh! Wow. That's as close as you can get without getting there. Shining, oh, shining, shining wizard. wizard. Muto-esque. This is Sonata's moment. We theorized that it could be, Rocky. We theorized that this could be a crowning achievement.